Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get to it. Shannon Sharp recently did Nightcap with Chad Ocho Cinco. Shout out to them. But Shannon Sharp disagrees with LeBron, saying that he would miss a game for his son. And Shannon basically said, you know, this is what you signed up for. You're going to miss rehearsals and 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 school events and all type of stuff, right? He even asked Ocho Cinco, would it be okay if the playoffs is on the line? And Ocho Cinco said he couldn't, I mean, he can't comment because the playoffs not on the line. But Shannon saying he would absolutely miss a game because when he was in, he was all in, right? And, you know, Shannon has always been one of LeBron's biggest campaigners. He even has LeBron to go over MJ. So it's kind of shocking that lately he has been criticizing LeBron on a, even LeBron saying he would have been a, the same if he wasn't in Miami, right? So here's my thoughts on the whole Shannon Sharp saying, and Rob Parker too, he said it, that he he doesn't agree with LeBron missing a game or or whatever. Let me let me give my two cents. This is in this man's 21st year. 21st year. He's played in every NBA city. He he's under that the whole the whole veterans thing now where they can miss games to rest their bodies. His son just went into cardiac arrest over the summer. Why can't the man miss one game? Now again, I said this yesterday. If the playoffs was on the line, I would agree. But if he misses one game, it's not going to be the end of the world. There's other people on his team that be missing multiple games. You got people like Kawhi and all the other people. They be taking games off. Don't nobody say nothing. But LeBron can't. He can't literally. He can't go see his son play one game, especially after having a scare like that. Shannon, I agree. LeBron, he's missed so much time of his of his kid's life, right? He been in the NBA for 21 years. Most people should be able to understand that if your child went through something that dramatic, LeBron could all he could have lost Brody, honestly. Shout out to USC, the medical staff for reviving him as quickly as possible. He could have lost his son or his son could have had dis disabilities where he wouldn't be able to function the same anymore. The same anymore. So we should be able to give him a pass to go see his son play his first game. It's 82 games in a season. Come on now. I just feel like it's because it's LeBron. I really feel like if it had been somebody else, we would make excuses for it. But because it's LeBron, and, pe a lot of, and a lot of people hate on LeBron, and again, some of it is warranted, but we should be able to at least, let's be humans for once. Let's be parents for once. Let's be uncles and, and cousins and aunties or whoever listening. Somebody that you love. Honestly, 50 years ago would have lost a life. But because they made it through in a full recovery, you can't go support him in this first game. The world is already going to have pressure on him, right? People have been waiting on Bronny to play because people want to know whether or not he's going to be able to produce in college and even the next level, myself included. So let his dad be there. Because guess what? If Bron wouldn't have had that, LeBron wouldn't have had that issue when they went over to, I believe, Europe to go play in the summertime, LeBron could have went over there with him. We got to understand that, yes, LeBron is one of the most famous athletes of all time, arguably a top five NBA player. Some people got him as, as the GOAT. He's still a human. He still has a family. And it's okay that he going to miss one game to go watch his son play. Because y'all would do the same thing. Y'all let me know in the comment section. If y'all agree or disagree, tell me why. Let's have a dialogue about this.